So now the movie, the actor and actress business became all about rich people's game. Everything is really corrupt. Everything is broke. So the regime runs this prostitution ring, basically with these actors and actresses. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeremy Park, and I'm a North Korean de facto human rights activist. So today, I'm going to talk about something that never heard before. It is about how can anybody become an actor and actress in North Korea. So regardless which country that is, it's a, I mean, a free country or dictatorship, they all need ent entertainers. And especially the countries like North Korea that needs to really brainwash the population. They need a good propaganda, uh, propagandist. And usually these actors and actresses are the front line of the entire brainwashing operation. So how can anybody become an actress or an actress in North Korea? So as everything else that it is in North Korea, that people don't choose to become who they are, who they want to be. It is all about the order from the party. So the party members go around the country, again, like the picking of the pleasure squad members, they go all around the country. And then when they, before they graduate, they pick up these girls and, and the boys. And then they go through their body, uh, you know, their look first. So going through how they look, their height, usually it had to be above 162 centimeters. And that's very tall for North Korean standard because we are severely malnourished. It's hard to find people who's above 160 centimeters in that country. After the height requirement met, their look is met, then, of course, it's about family status. They go through their generations of the family history, making sure, do you have a relative in China? Do you have a defector within your family? Did they fall in the war when, during the Japan and Korea and were on the side of the Communist Party? Going through every of those like, family backgrounds, once that thing got cleared, the last step is a virginity check for the women, for the actresses. It's very tough. I mean, I still don't know why the regime wants these actresses needs to be virgin, but they are very obsessed with that. So they are making sure these girls are virgins. And it's a very similar to going through the pleasure squad process, but this is a solely, solely for the actor and actresses. For men, what they do is also, of course, checking their look, their physics, and then their family background, which were what we call Hongbun, the caste system. After that, they also make sure that boys do function there. <laughs> I don't know how they check the men, but they do check the men if they are healthy down there. And I will tell you why they make men who need to work there because they are gonna use these boys as well. After all the process ends, they take them to Pyongyang, the capital. In capital, it's not about you audition for different roles in the movies or dramas. The regime, the officials come and look at your face features and the image of the person, and they say, oh, they assign you. You look like good for this role, so play this role. So there's no such a thing called audition. And here I, in Hollywood, I met so many agents and the people go different auditioning and North Korea is all government controlled. So after you go through this, then they assign you what to do. And this is where real stuff begins. So after vigorous checking you go, these ladies have to sleep with the directors and all those men so they can get a role and they can, you know, be paid. But paid means in North Korea getting the ration uh, tickets so they can get food. Nobody expects to make money being an actor in North Korea. The, their best hope is being fed three times a day. And nowadays, it, the movie industry got so corrupt and so bad, the regime only uh, tells the officials saying that it's a self-reliance. You get your own money, but we are not gonna give it to you, but make the movie about worshiping the regime. So these producers have to go to rich people in Pyongyang, say, I'm gonna make your daughter a star, Put, bring them in the movie, so can you fund the movie? So now the movie, the actor and actress business became all about rich people's game. 
However, before though, before this time when it became this corrupt, how North Korean using these boys and and girls on other other than being in the film was also shocking. So in Japan, there were a lot of Koreans who were left. Korea during the war or before the war, and during the Japanese colonization in the 1910 to the 1940. During that time, those people went to Japan, and they were never fully be able to uh, assimilate to Japanese culture because there was a heavy discrimination against Korean people. Those people always had a longing for their homeland, and they always wanted a place there where they could fully accept it as Koreans and with their identity. So when those people come to North Korea as a visitors, they are usually rich and have a lot of money. Then the North Korean regime putting these boys as a tour guide for these rich Japanese Korean ethnic ladies. Then they they somehow have to sleep with them and get the money out of them and then give it to the regime. So the regime runs this prostitution ring, basically with these actors and actresses. And the one another example was that in the 90s, there was a South Korean university student who admired Kim Il Sung. She crossed the DMZ and went to North Korea. And of course, North Korea gave her a boy, really good looking actor of North Korea, the top actor of North Korea, and make them marry uh, secretly. So she would have her heart in North Korea and keep speaking up for the greatness of North Korean regime. So a lot of sympathizers of North Korea, even from the U.S., they go to visit North Korea, and even Dennis uh, Rodman, he been to North Korea, and he talks about how all these girls in his parties, and those girls are also a lot of times are actresses and actors. North Korean regime uses every single thing they can from their people and. Using that our resources, our dignity, our liberty, and to maintain their power and stay in God in this 21st century. Everything is really corrupt. Everything is broke. But this is one side of looking into movie industry and being an actor and an actresses. It's the differences that we have here is, you know, the day and night difference. I hope that he, that helped you to understand North Korea a bit better, and also helped you to understand why that we cannot lose our liberty as individuals. Because when we lose our individual liberty, that's what it happens. The regime gonna tell you what to do, and they, you got zero dignity. You you get to decide zero things about what you do and what you are with your own body. Uh, I keep telling the world the stories of my people because I know that when people hear about this, they understand. I hope that they will understand what what we are going through in that darkness and join me to fight against this injustice and helping me to free my people. Guys, thank you for watching this video till this end. Please hit that like button so YouTube algorithms can suggest this video, and also. Join me on my Patreon and the lockers, so you know that help is really uh, is significant for me because a lot of my videos got demonetized, and also on those Patreon and the lockers, I have one on one Google Hangouts. So if you wanna talk to me one on one or as a group, please join there, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Mm -hmm.